Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Lucian Sword Plays Terraria. Let's get right into the game. My wife said that this character I made looks like a female. But hey, elves are... I made it to look like an elves. Elves are kind of girly looking, so... I don't take that as an insult. Alright, I don't know why I collected the wooden door upon entering the world. I guess because probably my spawn point is actually set right here. Um, below. Slightly below. So that means that I need to make a bed. <coughs> ah, excuse me, still trying to get over this cold. It just won't leave me alone. Um, let me make sure my mic is working, and yes, it does appear to be working very good indeed. Alright. Oh, sorry, Harley. Come on in. Alright. So, last episode, we built this lovely little kind of... Kind of boring looking log cabin, really. I mean, I don't particularly like it. It's just your basic starting structure I guess uh, don't think it's the most beautiful uh, house out there <laughs> definitely not so let's see I'm low on wood blocks I have one and got a little bit of wood wall but today we're not going to work on the house a whole lot. We actually already have housing suitable, 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 suitable. We got like four empty spots anyways and nobody's moving in. So we, we're we kind of ahead of the curve on housing development. So I think we should take the opportunity and go explore the world, which is uh, one of the most fun aspects of Terraria is exploring. Got my forceful zombie arm ready. Now, question is, where should we explore? Um, look how big this world is. I mean, we literally have just scratched the surface. Um, well, we're kind of in the dead center. We can either go left or right. I usually like to go left, so let's do that kind of risky going out at night. Ooh, mushroom. I need those. I uh, need those to heal. I <clears throat> don't really need Tiki Torch on hotkey. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and empty some of this stuff into the uh, chest because you know we're going to be finding all kinds of loot and we don't want our inventory to fill up. So let's... Oops. No, no, no. Not trash. Oh, shoot. I thought shift click was quick, quickly deposit, but it's actually quickly trash it. Anyway, I'm not sure what happened there. Anyways, um, I'll keep the wood and the dirt can just go down here. Don't think I'll really need the hammer. And all right, that's a little bit better. So let's go ahead and venture out at night. Kind of crazy. Harley, the place is yours. Hold down the fort, Harley. Better not be burned down when I get back. Another mushroom already. We can kind of plant some torches as we go. This will be a good opportunity. Oh, shoot. Good opportunity to uh, find some stars, maybe. Fallen stars. Let's fix this bridge. Clean it up a little bit. And already we have zombies coming at us. Shouldn't be a problem now that I can actually do some decent DPS. This will help us get some coins as well, which we need to summon the shopkeeper. Yeah, this is way more damage than the uh, the starting sword. Looks like some of my trees are starting to grow. I do need more wood, but I'll just let this grow, and we can try to find some more... Um, you know what, I should chop this one down just because I don't have any acorns on me and it looks like I didn't plant any acorns over this point, so. Yeah. 
None shall pass. So, I decided to keep things interesting. I should have some topics to talk about ready before I play. And that way, there's never a dull moment, right? <clears throat> so I prepared a list of things that I might talk about during this playthrough. All right, let me get some acorns planted here. Anyways, so I was looking at the news this morning. I don't really look at news that much. I'm not really a news person. I don't watch news on the TV. The, ooh, nice, another shackle. Let me put that on there. Oh, you can only have one shackle? Oh, man. I'm starting to get swarmed here. Sorry, I can't talk about what I saw in the news yet until I kill these guys because I'm a little bit preoccupied. Well, I'm going to get a ton of money doing this. Ah. Okay, I think we got this under control. So, yeah, apparently an 88-year-old man in Lake Wales, Florida, which I live in Florida, but I don't know where Lake Wales is. Everybody knows Florida is kind of a large destination for retirement, right? Great weather, easy living, beautiful beaches, you know, pretty, pretty good place to retire. Although, um, it's also pretty nice when you're young, too. Anyway, 88-year-old uh, man, you know, goes to his favorite bingo uh, place where he plays bingo. And apparently he's a regular because he's established his own seat where he likes to sit every time. It's his lucky seat. Everybody knows it. Well, apparently not everybody knew that he had a seat, a special seat. And you know how people get weird about their spot, right? Even though technically it's a public like place, nobody really has spots. Kind of like parking spots, I guess. When you go to work, if you work in like a retail store or pretty much anywhere, you kind of park in the same spot every day, maybe. You know, a lot of people, for a lot of people, that's the case. Anyways, this guy goes to his, his night of bingo. And some lady, another old lady, is sitting in his spot. I don't, apparently he did not ask her to move. I don't know, maybe she... It's not, there's not a lot of details in the story, but apparently after the fact, he was so pissed off that this lady took his spot. Keep in mind, this guy's pushing 90 years old. After bingo, he went outside and he slashed her tires. Yeah. An old lady, an old man slashed another old lady's car tires because she sat in his chair for bingo and he did it with an ice pick first of all why do you have an ice pick in Florida there's no ice in Florida second of all are you freaking serious man you it's like such a childish thing to do like for real you really think it really matters where you're gonna sit to the point where you're gonna destroy somebody's tires afterwards the old lady said she couldn't believe it she said I didn't know I had any enemies in life I'm kind of the same way you know I don't I don't think there's anybody out there that hates me you know the guy admitted to doing it to the cop and he said he felt kind of stupid afterwards you think oh what do we have here did we find our first cave system Ooh, we did. Nice. Unfortunately, it's one of those cave systems that has a straight drop off. Uh, before, ah, ah, die. before we go into the cave system, I want to try to find a dungeon. Um, if you've seen my video, How to Get Epic Loot Fast, which probably a lot of you have. It's my number one most viewed video. Surprisingly, I don't know why, because really... It's kind of funny. I made when I made that video. Let's grab that tin right there. It, 
my if you look at the videos near around that same time they got like 50 views 100 views and then that one has like a hundred and forty thousand kind of funny how things happen let's grab this iron oh man the zombies really fast get my ass kicked all of a sudden getting lots of money though which is good I need to make some healing potions, like, quick. Probably, why did I go out at night? Oh god, don't die! No! Oh, good recovery. I can't see. Place a torch, damn it! Yeah, so I, th I read that story, and I just... That just kind of... Kind of... Resonated with that. I just thought that was funny. Even old people get angry for stupid things. You know, it's just like road rage. It's not worth it. Just somebody cuts you off. You know what? They're probably good people deep down and just for whatever reason cut you off. I don't know. It's not like you've never cut anybody off, right? Look in the mirror. So, yeah. Um, thought I would share that story with you guys. It's pretty funny. But no, uh, I keep going on tangents, man. I want to go find the dungeon because... Ooh. Is this another cave? If we find the dungeon, we might be able to get the uh, water bolt spell, and that's really nice. Yep, another cave. Look at that. Unfortunately, our caves are all like drop-offs. Ooh, and there's demon altars down there. You see that? What? Down in the corner, there's demon altars. I thought those were only uh, spawned in like corruption or crimson. Does that mean there's possibly crimson down there? weird uh, let's go ahead and harvest this tree so that we can build some platforms to get across this big gap yeah I thought that was pretty funny in other news let's craft some platforms and that took all my wood got some more acorns we want a, a good supply of wood so I always plant as many acorns as I can. It looks like we're almost done with night. I think the sun's getting ready to to rise to help with the zombie problem. If I can get enough lenses, I have one right now. If I get three, I can summon the Eye of Cthulhu. There's another one. And Eye of Cthulhu will help us out uh, because he'll drop, I think, what is it? Demonite ore? And uh, that'll make us a nice pickaxe and weapon and, and stuff. We kill him a few times. Alright, let's build a platform. Guys, can you leave me alone for five minutes? Oh god. The pupil-less eye. Look at that tr crit for 22 damage. Nice. Got my third lens. Got a lot of shackles too, which I can definitely sell for some coin later on. Yay, it's morning. We killed like so many zombies. And now we have the annoying slimes coming after us, but that's okay. We need more gel so I can make more torches. Anyway, let's go ahead and extend our bridge all the way across if we can. Nice big trees over here. I'm gonna chop this tree down because that's like a ooh a chest. Sweet. Oh yeah. Potions. Sweet loot all. And I'm gonna take the chest from my house. Thank you. Very nice. Let's chop this. I know it's a beautiful tree. I love it when they're this tall, but I'm gonna chop it because we need wood. Hopefully, the uh, trees that I'm planting will grow soon. Oh god, we got some slimes we gotta take care of. Luckily, they have very low health. Ooh, got some iron bars, a blowpipe. All right. 
Very nice. Um, gonna put the healing potions on hot bar to be honest. And um, very nice. Gonna put the potions together. I kind of tr try to keep my inventory organized. I wish there was like a auto organized button. I've been waiting for that forever. Redigit. Let's go ahead and craft some more platforms. Running out fairly quickly. Need to build a little staircase going up here. Miss me. Just enough to get us to the next tree, which I'm also going to chop down. I'm sorry. I know they're beautiful looking, but I have to tell you what. I'll plant an acorn right where it was so that it can grow back there. But we need wood. Wow, this is a tall mountain. I can't even see the top of it. Holy cow. I've never had a world where, where there's like a wall that big. Wow. Let's plant the tree. I don't even know if I have enough platforms to get that high. Probably not. Oh, yeah. Actually, I probably do. Wow. All right. Oh, nice. We got the merchant. Let's just um start going up. See what's up here. This is cool. Oh, wow. You know what? This might be a really good location for building a house. You know what I mean? I'm going to leave that tree because that's a pretty epic spot. Ooh, let's grab all this iron ore. Shurikens are going to help us a lot on the Eye of Cthulhu. We are doing really, really good right now. Very nice. Anything in here? Of course. Another cave. And this one's a little bit more manageable to get into. And out of. Hmm. And I, th I see it. Li it actually links up with the other cave I saw down there. Nice. Ooh, you know what? That was a lot of iron. I hate passing up all this iron, so... Oh, look down there. Another demon altar. Way down in the corner. Ooh, I'm mining fast all of a sudden. My guy's just all excited. So yeah, I saw a, uh, it's not exactly breaking news, but I don't know if it, I think it came out like a couple days ago, but there's a new screenshot for Terraria Otherworld out there that shows the new crafting, uh, system. It basically shows what it looks like when you're crafting. I, I can post the picture of it in, uh, in the game here. And, uh, it definitely looks like an improvement. Oh, oh I did reach it. Look at that. Nice. Uh, yeah, it definitely looks like an improvement over Terraria, but I'm still a little disappointed that... I mean, Terraria Otherworld, it looks awesome, and I'm super happy they're making it, and I'm definitely going to play it. But, like, it, it almost looks like it, sh it should just be, like, an expansion pack for Terraria. Like, it's really not that different. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Let's uh claim this mountain. We need to top climb to the top of it. Build a little bit of stairs getting up there about. There we go. Looks kind of weird, but whatever. Touchdown! We claim this. Nice. This is a good sized. Uh, Look at how big that hill is compared to my house. And we have the shirt, uh, merchant now. That's pretty cool. I'm going to chop these trees down. I know they're awesome looking, but I'll plant some more. This might be a good spot for like an outpost. Oh, we got three slimes coming up here. Yeah, I mean, it's already almost level. I can just level this off and make a nice little outpost out here. 
Maybe for the, uh... Hmm. I kind of want to make different houses for, like, all the different NPCs. Maybe the Goblin Tinker will go up here. Or the Wizard. When we get him. This is a cool... This would be a cool little Wizard Tower location, wouldn't it? Let's level it off a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of uh, what you want me to talk about while I'm playing, go ahead and drop them in the description. You know, if you want my opinion on a certain thing that's going on. Nice. Got 36 gels. Alright, um, before it gets night again, I'm probably crazy for doing this. Let's just go all the way. Ooh, another chest. All the way to the left side of the map and see if the dungeon's over here because I really want to try and get that water bolt spell. Here we go. Nice. Recall potion. That'll be useful. A lot of rope. Glow sticks. A lot of glow sticks. That's really nice. Wow, we are getting lucky with the chests. Nice. Mining potions. Silver coins. Beautiful. Get some more wood while we're here. This is a really nice map. I'm really happy with this map. Very unique. Has lots of really interesting uh, elements to it. To the design of the landscape. Can I get that wood up there? No. Oh well. Really liking this map. I'll definitely share this map too. Um, later on so you guys can download it if you want that tree down there is so cool looking I love oops things like that with the tree down there growing up in the empty space I love it this is a ranger playthrough if I go down there I screw it into the hellhole Fighting pits. Oh. Yeah, I'm a little rusty. There we go. Better to practice on slimes. Now I'm stuck down here. Oh, might as well mine a shortcut. So I was looking on IGN this morning. Ooh, the demolitionist. Nice. Every time I'm about to say something, something happens in the game and I get distracted. Um, yeah, I was looking at IGN and I saw they gave Splatoon on the Wii U a 7.9. Which is pretty, pretty solid. The only negatives they had about it was that it, it didn't have quite as many game modes or, or content. But, you know, uh, they could probably add that with DLC. It looks like a really fun party game, like if you have friends coming over. Third person shooters can be really fun. Think about Jet Force Gemini. Think about Gears of War. You know, third person shooters can be really fun. I love Jet Force Gemini. I used to play with my brothers all the time when I was younger. We played a multiplayer. Even though the single player was definitely the selling aspect of the game, it did have multiplayer. And it was fun. We played it. I mean, definitely wouldn't get high ratings probably by today's standards, but... Uh, it, it was fun. Almost. Yes, I see the light. We've made it. Lots of slimes out here, too. Nice little shortcut here. Might as well kill these guys. Get the... Not at a good angle here to hit them. go get all the gel and everything we need grab the tin can make a pretty cool house if you get enough clay you can make some brick all right before we get too sidetracked again we want to try to make it to the dungeon so let's continue our quest trying to lay torches every now and then because we're going to come back at night and it's nice if they're already laid out. You can see everything. Uh-oh. We got corruption. The classic corruption. Need to 
destroy these vines. Look at these dead purple trees. Ooh, vile mushrooms too. We need to collect those so we can summon uh, Eater of Worlds. Where's my axe? Wow, the painter? We're getting all kinds of NPCs now. I wonder what's triggering all them. I don't really keep up with... There's They've added so many NPCs lately. And I don't even keep up with like everything on how you get them. Look at all this ebon wood I'm getting. Wow. Ebon wood. What can we do with that? We'll find a use for it. The uh, iron ore here caught my attention. Ouch. You see that squirrel down there? When he holds still, he looks like he's got a skull for a face. I wonder if it's like supposed to be a skeleton squirrel. Let's go put him out of his misery. I know I'm going the wrong, long, wrong way. We gotta go this way. Oh god. We got Eater of Souls coming at us. No. Let us get through the corruption without dying. Oh god. This is definitely a drop off. I need more platforms. Got plenty of wood now. Oh shoo! Don't want to drop down there at this point. I don't even think I can actually mine through this crap, can I? No. Which means the only way out is up. There we go. Easy enough. Back off. These guys have no kickback almost. Back off. Ugh. I need I need them to drop something. I forget what it is. They drop something that helps me summon the Eater of Worlds. There, rotten chunk, that's what it is. Damn those vines hit for a lot of health. Can we at least Oh wow, those little blobs actually give you loot? I think I walked past like 10 of them. Ooh, this is a big one. Ow, I'm almost dead. Oh man. I'm getting kind of scared here, guys. But yeah, Splatoon looks fun. I kind of want it. Lately, Smash Bros. On the Wii U has been my go-to game for when I have friends over, but it's getting kind of boring now. I mean, it's always fun, but it's nice to play a different game every now and then. Freshen things up. Splatoon looks like it'd be a fun game for uh, when you have friends over and stuff. Alright, looks like we made it to the desert. It's always hard getting across the world at first because you're laying the platforms and building bridges and laying torches and getting attacked. But we have to do it. After this, it'll be easier. We'll, we'll make it across much faster in the future. Whoa! Oh god, no! I don't want to come down here! Oh shoot, they're putting me down in the death pit! No! Oh. Oh shoot, I don't want to die down here. Back off. Back off. Oh, ooh, silver. Oh god. I got three health. If I get hit even once, I'm dead. Oh, I live. Oh, he's jumping like a retard. I'm going to use your ebon wood get out of this oh on the bright side I'm getting lots of rotten chunks oh man yeah my wife really she, yesterday they launched a bunch of new amiibos oops don't know what that was oh swiftness and uh, my wife really wanted Greninja it's her favorite character in Smash and um, she asked me to go to Target I go to Target at um, I didn't know they came out that day, so I wasn't like in a rush. I was at my friend's house. 
Went to Target at like 11 a.m. Something like that. They were already sold out of everything, of course. I look online this morning and I see the Lucina Amiibo sold out on Amazon in 15 seconds. 15 seconds. It sold out. Not minutes. Seconds. I mean... It's gotten to a point where it's not even cool anymore, Nintendo. Like... Oh, shit. Oh, God. I fell. Like, I want to collect cool amiibos, too. Now you're making it so only hardcore people. You're only going to send, like, five to each store. Obviously, you don't give a crap about people, like... Re oh. That sucks. I just lost a gold coin down there. We got to go back and get it. Ah. Uh, Hey, we got new people here. Got the painter. Got Frederick, the shop merchant. While we're here, we might as well see what he's got. Hmm, bug catching net. Yeah, that'd be good for fishing. I really want to buy that, but we don't have any money right now. Uh, I'm going to sell these shackles. Definitely. Keep those. Keep the death weed. For uh, growing some, making some potions later. Stack the torches. Any potions I'll keep. Definitely keep the potions. Put all the blocks up there. Don't know why I have a door. Oh yeah, keep ruining that spot. Oh nice, I got grenades. Shurikens, the rotten chunks. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and put some more chests down. Put a chest here and a chest there. This chest will be for boss materials. So I'll put the mushrooms in there and the rotten chunks and the, and the lenses in there. And put the iron ore in there. We'll put the dirt. I need another uh, chest. Get out of here, bunny. I need another chest just for like dirts and stuff and ores. So let's let's make another chest real quick. Do I have enough wood? Of course not. Hmm. How long have we been recording? Thirty-two minutes. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a small breather break and go check on everything. Um, go check on my son. Make sure he's okay. He's watching some TV in the room and uh, yeah we'll come back here in just a minute I want to go try and get the gold back so let's pause right here for a second okay wow that, that was crazy let's go back in I know for you guys it, it seems it's only a second since I've been gone but oh, god damn I really need to make a bed and fix that Jeez. But uh, a lot happened when I took my break. Um, I went to check on my son, and he was just chilling, watching TV. I laid with him for a second, and then randomly my wife came came home from work, and I didn't. I thought maybe she was just having her lunch break. Sometimes she comes home from work and uh, has her lunch break, but no, she's like throwing up in the toilet and stuff, and I'm really sick. So, been kind of hanging out with her and make sure she's okay for a, a while. And yeah, and uh, so it's actually been a couple of hours. Uh, so let's see. I don't know. I hope. I like that you can see the shackle on my wrist now. I hope that my money is still in that pit, even though I saved and quit. I don't know if your money stays there. Probably not. But let's go check anyway. Let's grab all these mushrooms. They can be good healing items later. Oh, man. Again, I'm going out at night. But, I mean, that's how you get lots of money, I guess. Sometimes you get good drops. See how fast I'm going now, though, that we already have all these stairs and everything else set? Makes it a lot easier. Oh, that tree I planted is already growing. See? Circle of life. 
I saw they made a Final Fantasy X and Ten Two HD remake for PS4. My wife loves that game, and she bought it on PS3 um, when that came out like a year ago. Never actually beat it, but uh, I it looks like a fun game, and um, kind of wonder how much it costs on PS4. IGN gave it a 9.3, so probably really good. I don't think we're actually that far. Okay, we're kind of far. Well, let's keep charging along. Lots of trees here. I don't know if I planted these ones or not, but I think I did. I like being able to see at night, so I use lots of torches. I like being able to traverse the entire world without being blind. Wow. Am I going to die again? Not by the white eyeball, that's for sure. I need to check my key bindings for potions and stuff because just remembered you don't actually have to select the potion or even have it on your hotbar. I don't know if now is a good time to check it though. Holy cow, those do a lot of damage. Wow. Gotta be careful with the vines and stuff too. The vines do damage. Oh, walk right into vines. I'm trying to remember what key I set. Or, ow. Oh shit, I'm dead. <laughs> what is that, like fourth? <coughs> uh, fourth death already? Oh man. Ah, screw it. I'm just gonna stop rebuilding that until I can get a, get a bed. This time for sure, I am going to make it. For it is my destiny as the elven archer, reborn of Legolas, I will make it. Oh man, see this is why I need you guys to help me out. Yeah. Wooden arrow is nice. I'd be using my bow more, but wooden arrows kind of do crap damage. So yeah. I guess it's about the same as my arm, but... Yeah, the, the, the fact that there's no kickback really kind of kills it. Gotcha! Got him right in the face on that one. Let's see if we can take the uh, long way up here. Maybe a shortcut in the making. Here we go. Shortcut in the making. Barely get that jump. I don't know if it's a shortcut actually. If I mine through that, it definitely will be, and I'm gonna want to do that one eventually anyway, so I might as well do it now. So, anybody watching that plays a uh, Bloodborne or watch my Bloodborne walkthrough? It was pretty fun, although I gotta say, I don't think I liked it quite as much as Dark Souls. Something about it, I don't know. It was good, it was really good, don't get me wrong. I think I just like Dark Souls world a little better, and also the, the sword and shield combination better than the gun. But it's really fun, I really liked it. 
very similar, but also pretty different. Different enough. In the pit you go. Oh. Getting a lot of clay. Might be able to do something with it. I got 44 clay. I guess that's not that much. But at least I know there's a clay pit right here now. I can always come back to it. <clears throat> do you guys think the music's too loud? Music's too quiet? I turned it up from last episode because I didn't think it was loud enough. I think it's at like 50% right now. Debating whether I should just play my own music, but it's hard to get music that's royalty free because otherwise if I put music on here, YouTube will strike the hammer on me and tell me I can't use copyrighted music. No fun. Alright, I think we'll have better luck this time now that it's actual day and we have a shortcut there for later. So, interesting little uh, line right there, kind of like a rip through the world. Well, let's see if my money is in fact still anywhere. I'm losing money pretty badly. I had a solid gold piece and lost it. I think I'm getting pretty close to the, uh, the second time I died, right? I don't even know if I want to go for that money because it was like deep in the corruption pit. Uh, yeah, like down there. Screw that. Look how far I'd have to go up to get it. And I don't even think I dropped that much. But let's go see if my gold piece is still there because that is definitely worth looking for. Stay back. Oh, shoot. I can't believe that every time it I think I'm gonna walk onto the platform and he just walks through it that's twice in a row and I did the same thing twice oh god god help me Frederick I need some serious counseling after just committing suicide twice what can you suggest for me hmm I know, how about not being an idiot? Well, there's 26 silver, that's nice. Alright, Frederick. Ooh, and I got the demolition guy here too, sweet. It's a good day to die. <laughs> nah, you're not kidding. Mm. Well, I do have 71 rope. But... I don't know if that's going to be enough, guys. I need to chop down some more trees, too. Let's just chop down some more trees. This has been a failure. Man, I'm just trying to find the dungeon. And that alone is hard because I'm going through the corruption. But nothing ever, nothing great ever happened on accident. Actually, that's a lie great things happen all the time on accident but no pain no gain right we're gonna push forward and uh, suck a little bit less from now on I forget how easy and how weak you are when you're a new character all right got a star there somehow now I got some wood to build Ooh, sticky glow sticks build some more wooden platforms that's what I was going for um, I guess I got the ebony platforms too because I need to fix that platform thing that keeps killing me. Is that tin? Nice. Maybe I should uh, craft an anvil, huh? Then I wouldn't die so much if I had some armor, huh? You guys know, but I... I am but a humble servant. And I don't remember everything. Even though I played this game a lot. Usually uh, I get to the late game pretty quick and then I don't even ever have to worry about stuff like this. Stuff like barely being able to walk around. Once you get wings and jetpack and stuff, falling is not an issue anymore. Luckily I mined out the shortcut earlier, so now I just shaved off a little bit of time there. I'm making the path easier to try.
travel every time at least. Um, at least I have that going for me. I gotta be careful I don't fall off again. Thir if I fall off three times, I'm pretty much a failure at Terraria then, right? Nah. That bunny is a failure at Terraria. Alright, here we go. Not gonna die this time. Not gonna die. Not by this slime. Not by the falling death pit. Okay, how is this killing me every freaking time? Look at this. Look at this. I literally walk through it. That is crazy. There. Now I don't. Wow. Alright, well, before I go for that um, stuff down there. Look at this. Three damage per hit. So bad. Oh, God. These guys drop a lot of money. Two silver on one kill. Need to be really careful going over these holes. I'm just gonna cover them now so I don't die in the future. Oh, that's wood. Oh, that'll work too. I think I'm getting close to where I died the first time, right? A little bit further, a little bit up up there in that water hole. Uh oh, I don't want to fall down this pit. Got to take it very slowly. Getting all my money back either way. I'm just going to check. Oh, shoo. Just going to check and see. Damn it. Leave me alone. I think. I think this is it. It was down this pit. My money's still there? No, it's not. Wah, 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 wah. That sucks. That's alright. We will push on. There we go. Oh, wow, they can't even get through the wooden platform. Interesting. Yeah, I'm getting quite a bit of money killing these guys. Almost worth it just to sit there and farm those guys for a little while. Alright, finally moving forward. There we go. Bit of a rough start for me. After building that awesome base, we've been getting owned. Finally got out of the corruption. Thank God. Let's see if there's a chest in here. Nope. Look, we do have a pot. And some tin. This will help us out. Getting a lot of tin and iron. I think I could at least make a better weapon by now. I do need to get some more wood. Always gotta have wood for platforms. All that good stuff. Building, tables, chairs. NPCs must have tables and chairs or it's not a house. Hmm. Ow. What is that, a bat? Where'd the acorns go? Oh. Plant one there. Plant one there. And there. Ooh, more tin. Maybe we'll find like one of those uh, pyramid dungeons or whatever in the in the um, in the desert. That'd be cool. 
they're not pyramids, but they're like, they are like little uh, mine shafts. Uh oh, these guys can be hard. Ah, uh, I can just cheap them out. Sorry, man, but you're not gonna kill me. I think those are mahogany trees. That's pretty cool. You can make uh, special furniture with mahogany. Ooh, I'm in the jungle now. This could be dangerous. Ooh. With danger can come rewards, though. Nice. Boomerang, timbar, shurikens. Loot all. Let's put that boomerang on, hotkey. That might be even better than the bow. Oh, yeah. Too bad it doesn't give off any light. Some more rope. Potion there. Nice. We gotta be getting pretty close at this point, I think, to the dungeon. Oh, I'm like halfway. Oh man, this is a big map. Well, I'm halfway to the edge of the world anyway. The dungeon's usually not all the way to the end, but. Whoa, 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 whoa. The auto place sometimes is re I gotta start saying retarded. Is sometimes very dumb. Um more platforms, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, who said you could float? Back off. These slimes are very strong, but I'm assuming they have good money for drops. Oh, yeah, five silver. That's a lot for a noob like me. Oh, shoot. Don't want to die. I'm pretty far. I need to see what my hotkeys are for... Quick Heal F. All right. Good to know. Place these. Oh man, look at all those piranhas. This is a good time for a grenade. Ah! Oh, that was so friggin' perfect. I killed them all. Oh, a robot hat? Sweet. Where is it? Oh, that is awesome. Nice. Nice, I love it. That that just made my day, guys. After dying all those times, I was a little bit sad, but that perfect grenade hit and then the robot hat dropped. That's awesome. Now I'm happy again. Especially if we can get all the way to the ocean, I'd be even happier without dying. Better build a platform bridge here. Ow. These bats are pissing me off, man. Stop killing me. Thank you. A lot of trees here if I need wood, too. A little bit later. I gotta be careful with the potion cooldown. These guys hit me for like half my health because I'm naked. No armor. That's a lot of piranhas. Another grenade time. Oh my. Oh man. Well. <laughs> I didn't know the grenade would kill you like that. Oh my god. I didn't know it blew up upon impact of hitting somebody. Well. That's alright. It's not all a failure. Um, 
just mostly a failure. <laughs> I gotta go get my my money back, but that's a really long walk. You guys are probably getting sick of watching me walk all the way over there. And we are probably pushing an hour long episode again. So I'm gonna mine some more wood so I can f finish building my house there again. I don't know what happened with the other wood I had. Let's go see if we can craft anything real quick. And I'm not really too worried about the money to be honest. Cause money can't buy you love. That was really bad, I know. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry, Frederick. This house keeps on exploding. It's not a very good house. Here you go. There you go. I promise I'll stop teleporting into the house eventually. Um. All right. Uh, let's make as many iron bars as I can, and tin bars. And we need to make an anvil. Let's put the anvil right here. Now, ooh, I can make some tin armor, tin bow, ooh, uh, reinforced fishing pole. Mm. I feel like I need a better weapon, but this one's already pretty strong. A oh, hook shot would be really nice too, but I need the claw from a skeleton. Well, let's go ahead and make a better pickaxe. Uh, I don't have enough to make the iron pickaxe. Mm, could make a tin pickaxe, but they kind of suck. Yeah, I guess for now we'll just uh, save what we got. It's all good. Um, let's go ahead and put that stuff in there. 73 acorns. Wow. We need to take the lenses out because those go in a different chest and so do, so do those. We'll put the tin in here. Um, there we go. Keep them organized like that. Got to be careful on those grenades. Not going to lie. Let's put this chest. This chest will be for dirt and stuff. You can put all the different um, put clay over there, dirt over here, stone block. Because eventually I'm going to have so many. Ooh, how'd these tin bars get out of here? Um, got 24 tin bars there. All the different kinds of blocks in here. Just to stay organized. And got a lot of healing potions and stuff. Probably put all my potions in one of these chests up here. These are all the nice items I need for um, bosses or just other stuff. Mm, starting to collect some various plants. Got death weed anyway. Put the glow sticks on there just in case I need them quickly. Shurikens. The bow kind of sucking for me right now. I'm not going to lie. Might have to sell it. I'm going to sell the bow. Don't need seeds. Arrows I'll keep. I have a gold. You know, I really need to buy a piggy bank so I can stop dying and losing all my money. Costs a gold, but gonna be worth it in the long run you know put my piggy bank there and um, now I can put my money in the piggy bank which I got nothing almost but it's all good hmm let's see how far I got oh man it's a long walk all the way to the jungle I bet you I was close to the dungeon well, we can save it for next episode. It's already a pretty long episode here. I will uh, end the episode here, guys. And uh hope you enjoy. I know it hasn't been the most eventful, but this is a game that is not very fast-paced. And uh, I definitely enjoy liking it. Um, again, if you 
have any game stories or uh, anything gaming related um, you want me to talk about, um, let me know in the description or if you have questions. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.